Well, hey there, it is Tara here and I'm here with Jesper, who is one of my, oh, my only bull camel here. I'd like to talk to you about bull camels, how to be safe around them, who should have them and who should not have them, and also when to castrate, how to know the signs and when to do it. So keep watching to learn more in this lesson. The male camels are the ones that come into season. It's not the female camels, it's actually the male camels. How does the female get pregnant then? So when the female camel is mated, they act, that's when they ovulate. They only ovulate when there's vermicide in their system. Then they drop their eggs and then they're able to have babies. How amazing is that? Is that camels are so conservative with the female camel that as soon as, as, soon as uh, their body detects some spermicide, they actually release their egg and are able to get pregnant. So the male camel comes into season during the winter time. For us here in Australia, where I live on the east coast of Australia, it gets frosty, it doesn't get snowy or anything like that. If you took a camel out of the wild, who their winter's slightly different and even though the temperatures drop a little bit in the, in the deserts too, it can take them a little while to get back into their, their rhythm of being a bull camel. That being said, it could also happen instantaneously <laughs> um, because their one thing is to, to keep on procreating. Going back to the male cam camel coming into season during the winter time. So that is when the camel comes into season. You cannot castrate a camel when they're in rut. Rut means when the camel's in season. The male camel is in season. That is what in season means when the word rut, R-U-T-T, -T, is used with the camels. So Jesper here, I'm so impressed by him. I just have to acknowledge this camel for a moment. Like he was skin and bones, like probably two years ago, absolute skin and bones. And now he's got this real bull look, like he's got this chesty, you know, sometimes I look at him and go, oh, he's so handsome, he's so chesty and muscly and all those sorts of things. And that happens more when they're in the rut too, which is impressive. So they just get real kind of butch. In the winter time, when a camel comes into rut, these are some of the things to look out for for when when they're coming to season, when they're rutting. Um, they can show less interest in you and more interest in, well, if they're with other camels, more interest in those camels. They can show aggression to other camels. They can show aggression to you. They can be really unpredictable. Like you can't, you feel like you're with a different camel. Like, you know, Jesper here is so sweet and all this sort of stuff now. But if this was winter time, I would not be standing here with him knowing that he's in his rut season. Because because unpredictable you know he could be there and then he suddenly thinks that's right I have a job to do and the girls are over there I'm just gonna kick Tara out of the way to get to those girls it's just they're so unpredictable they're so erratic just just a little bit like teenage boys sorry buddy I don't I don't mean to do that good boy we're in autumn now so we're coming into winter so we're, we're sort of about to come into the rutting season so I'm a little bit wary you know like I know he's not gonna do anything too silly um, but then you know they're a bull camel you know they've got they've got things to do in life and it's just a biological thing they just can't in quotes help it you can't train a camel out of being in rut you can stimulate them um, to be less bull like like um, I have heard that there's a lot of success with bull camels being operational like working a lot in tourism all that sort of stuff and they seem relatively fine but camels like this <laughs> I flinched when he did that see look I'm already on guard which is hilarious I think he's fine I know he's fine and I trust him and he's being he's just trying to be smoochy and you're itching because there's a fly I get that so who should not have bull camels first and foremost most people because they're dangerous and people don't understand the danger I mean a lot of these stories that come out in headlines about camels um, killing their owners all of them were really bull camels you know the ones that have pinned owners against fences and and sat on them those are mostly bull camels you know and they seem all sweet and like this you know during the off rut season but as soon as they come into rut then you're just looking at a big big problem and then but you're still treating them the same and you're still you're not on guard as much but you have a bull camel and there's only one thing on their mind in rut season going back to the signs as well they can actually they actually pace a lot down up and down the fences they're looking for opportunities obviously so that's another sign of, of camels being in rut they bubble 
They have a what they call a doula that comes out the side of their mouth. It's like an extra skin and it, it creates this big bubble and it's super attractive to the ladies. So the ladies love this, so that's why they display it and they attract their mates that way. And they, they also, that's their authority warning to other male camels around. It's like, you know what, I got this gig and it's not happening for you but it's happening for me. The problem with like with other camels being with a bull camel is these guys can get really really aggressive. I would say for a good three months I had to separate him from the rest of the herd because he was literally for lack of a better word raping everybody including the males. He was pinning them down, he was showing his authority. This was his first season, I mean he's almost five, he's probably his five now. His first season where he's actually displayed these things. We're just really not being kind to all the others, they were coming out with injuries not bad ones but just scrapes and stuff on their back where he's tried to mount them for the most part they you know when they're in rut they got one thing on their mind and one thing only my older camels here they thought that they had one up on him and they thought they had control over him they were always the ones bossing him around as soon as he came in just for here came into rut it was reversed and he ended up pinning down a camel the camel was on a hill so you know he could and the camel they can't roll over on their hump so I had to literally get my four-wheel drive get a, um, a strap and pull up that camel because he couldn't get up because he was on a it was down like that his hump was facing down on a hill so you know I had a few nights of that sort of shit <laughs> like naughty boy and that's when I'm like right I'm separating you I gave him a few warnings and you know but again bull camel one thing on the mind for the most part most people should not have a bull camel because it really does require experience good handling good management in the paddocks and a really good knowledge of what a bull camel is like in rut and they are, they can be really super scary you know like they've only got one thing on their mind they can be charging you they can be ag aggressive in all sorts of different ways depending on the camel that being said some bull camels are absolutely beautiful and remain like this even during rut but I never turn a blind eye and I never I always always watch my back because even if they seem so sweet and lots of stuff I'm always like yeah but you still got that thing on your mind so that's the difference there. One of the most common questions in, in my camel community is when do I de-sex? When do I neuter my bull camel? And it's a complicated question because um, I've given you just for his example here like he's almost five and he's only displayed one season of rut and he's five years old but I think that had a lot to do with his sickness and it's only this year where I'm going okay I'm gonna have to castrate him this year. So some camels can be heading towards one years old and they're displaying signs of being in rut and they're trying to mount the their other camels around them. Some camels, uh, I've had a six, seven year old camel once and he never ever displayed any signs of rut. It was the girls that had him under control and he, he was just willing to accept that. So there's not actually one fast rule here, but the rule, the rule that I do want to imply here is that the longer you can keep that camel a bull camel, the healthier they're gonna be because they need that testosterone to grow, they need that testosterone to, to flourish into their full self but in their, their bodies. If you castrate too early, like you know, under 12 months for instance, you're actually going to gravely affect that camel's growth because they don't have those supportive hormones to help them grow. So I never ever encourage that castration early unless there's absolutely telltale signs that this camel's getting dangerous. So those are the things that you need to consider moving forward if you have a bull camel or you know that you're going to get one as a baby for instance and you don't know when to castrate. Going back to that golden root, we want to help them grow but it's 100% certain that that camel has to be safe while they're growing. If you at any point feeling, un feeling unsafe, not from the lack of knowledge, but just because the lack of unpredictability, then you need to consider castrating that camel. How do we go about castrating a camel? Well, there's a couple of different methods. The one that I do not recommend, is the, the camel gets the injection to make them sleepy and the vet puts them on the ground with their hump. So they're actually camels lying on, on the ground on their side. That can create problems because they can drown in their own fluids given that they're camels and they're ruminants and all sorts of things so I don't recommend that method there are other methods so the other method is you sit the camel down and the vets don't like this method because they can't see the testicles properly and all that sort of stuff but it is safe and put so the camel sitting you put two hay bales either side you tie them down with front leg tie back leg tie and the testicles get snipped out. There is a standard method as well, which um, the camel vet in here, Margie Bale, does all the time. Beautiful. I know you're so sweet when you're like this. 
Um, Margie Bale has said that if your vet wants camel information that they can give her a call at any time or, or contact her via email. So if you're needing to get a camel castrated and you, your vet needs to know the exact method to use and the drugs to use, I would highly suggest that the vet gets in contact with Margie to avoid any drug complications because not all drugs are safe for camels to have. There's a lot to be said on bull camels and this topic. Coming back to the basics, it's important that you feel safe. It's important that the camel is safe and it and else is around the camel is safe and also that the camel gets the pro proper growth because you can get bone development issues with the camel if they if they're castrated too early and if you have to separate the camels or separate whoever that camel's with if it being aggressive and just let them let it play out you know just keep your distance have a good setup so that you can still maintain feeding them and supplementing them but it's not a time to start training a camel when they're in rut thanks for listening and we'll catch you on the next lesson